Hi, I'm Maud Apatow. Hello, I'm Belle Powley, and we are playing Two Truths and a Lie. I love Staten Island. It's amazing. And people are gonna see it soon, trust me. I was in a sheep riding competition. <laughs> I had nerve damage when I got my wisdom teeth out. And my go-to karaoke song is Don't Rain On My Parade. Um, okay, I think the lie is that your go-to karaoke song is Don't Rain On My Parade. <laughs> No, the one that was a lie was I had nerve damage when I got my wisdom teeth out. Oh, I thought that was like so elaborate that it was made I, true. I tried to do that. You're like, I've played this game before, Well, <laughs> My dad is an actor. I'm deathly allergic to bumblebees. And my first acting job was playing a child spy. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um... You're deathly allergic to bees. Is that a lie? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, okay. Oh, you're way better than I did not think that, okay. I, I'm surprised I got that one. No, like for real. I've seen every movie on the AFI top 100 list. I have two cats and two dogs and I fall asleep to forensic files. I've I feel like you don't fall asleep watching Forensic Files because I feel like that would like scare you. <laughs> no, my mom used to watch Dateline when I was growing up and I always like for some reason found it comforting even though it's so disturbing. But yeah, so that's that's the truth. But my lie is that I've seen every movie on the top 100. Oh, I thought I was like, she definitely has. She's so smart. <laughs> I used to be in the Royal Ballet. Also, I was almost a pro skateboarder in the under 80s category. And my grandmother is a Russian Jew, but with an Irish accent. Okay, I feel like if you were in ballet, you wouldn't be a skateboarder at the same time, but I could be wrong. <sighs> you did it again. Oh, I did, okay, wait, it hold again. on. I should have thought that they were like conflicting. <laughs> So skateboarding is a lie. Yeah. I'm rubbish at this. She deserves a break. I always give her a break. When's, when am I going to get my break? I did Krav Maga growing up. Sorry, and what? Then, like Israeli martial arts. Okay. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a talk show host. And then I have taken a tour of the DMV in Korea. Yeah, I actually know, I remember you telling me that, so I know. <laughs> okay, wait, what was the other one you... I you did be a martial artist. artist. And then I wanted to be a talk show host growing up. No, I think it's a lie that you wanted to be a talk show host growing up. No, it was the martial arts, and I was like, that, she, I don't even know. <laughs> Why am I so dumb? Don't even look at me, dude. Why? I play an animated character who's a tiny lady who lives in a teapot. I once played a character called Veronica Dyke and I'm under five foot, really. <laughs> You're not. You're not under five foot, is that the lie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm five foot one, but I'm not under. Okay, I was like, you're small, but I feel like you're not under five. You make everyone around you feel crazy. People are normal, then they hang out with you, and then they're Jack Nicholson in The Shining or something. Is that the end of the game? Did we do well, it? You won three nil. I got nothing. Well, it's okay. I, I had fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch King of Staten Island now on VOD.